Yeah. The Borderlands movie has yet to come out in the only country that actually matters, as a result of harboring yours truly, and I am known to love goths. Just with the slight caveat of not once they turn 60, and I'm not an anime fan, so this, it does nothing for me. Putting the seeds of hesitation within my mind, what if this movie is bad? <laughs> That could never happen, you walk should pick option depending on allegiance. So I did my research and I found out the movie is based on this old game called Borderlands Free. And I fucking hate video games, but I have come to the conclusion that the Theator will be packed with self-hating hot emos, and I can't pass that up. So to get my lore in, I decided to play the game, and the devs who are not fans of magical squirt porn, and I would never accuse them of being, I did a DLC to not play the game just for me, so I can get my lore dump without having to be an incel gamer. Now I'm immediately met with a hurdle, I have to actually play the game to unlock the ability. I'm in tears, I'm shaking, I'm crying, the run? is over, challenge is felted, the video is done. Except not, because were there are emos, I will come. And I'll also go there, but I'll have to wait a bit because I'm a retard that didn't install the game. After unvirgining myself and playing a video game, I encounter a beautiful trans woman who passes really well and she allows me to not play the game for the first time in the run. And boy, does it feel good. I sure hope she doesn't- Well shit, 43%. With a heavy heart and heavy balls from emo deprivation, I acquire the ability to second monitor the game and play Club Penguin instead. Light problem of the mech fucking off after killing 3 people and taking 10 minutes to return, but this is what Club Penguin is for, also grooming. Luckily for me, the friendly AI is conveniently fundamentally broken. Funny how the AI in these games only breaks one way. After witnessing the robot waste all of its active time trying to kill one enemy, I switch to the rockets and find the first big funny of the game. Now I did some research and found out this was a comedy game, something I only found out by being told it was. A sign of great comedy. Now you see the joke here is he's naked. You know it's layered, he's breathing and he's naked. Why aren't you laughing? After spending half an hour on the first enemy encounter in the game, I decided it's a pretty good idea to do some side quests. But a little oversight on my part is I didn't expect side quests to also take 10 hours, which I probably should have saw coming but as mentioned before, a bit retarded. So I won't be able to get the one perk that will lessen the torture of this shit until I'm pretty much already done with the game. But it's fine, because me and my funny robot are breezing through. Until he. The dubstep boss. A sign of devs definitely in touch. How in touch? I heard a Vuvuzela meme earlier. Vuvuzela. What's the joke with this guy? Dubstep. You see it has layers, he's breathing and he likes dubstep. Why aren't you laughing? Please laugh. But the real challenge to dubstep man is making me want to blow my brains out. Not from shit music because dubstep bad, hehe, <laughs> cutting edge comedy, but from the worst game design I have ever seen. Once you get the boss down to a certain threshold, the game just pauses and you can't do damage anymore. Until the game decides you can play again, or in my case, not play again. After boarding a ship with the funny meme number on it, I explore the galaxy to think about how in touch the devs are, and to rid the world of more musical genres. On the ship, there's a slight problem, a bit of a dilemma. I can't find a single sniff of this bitch in the movie. She just isn't in it. And who the fuck are these two? And is that Kevin Hart? I swear to jaw, if these fuckers keep adding talking black guys and casting them as Kevin Hart, I'm gonna fucking lose it. There are other black guys, I'm sure of it. I guarantee it, there are more than the one. You can probably find them in a jungle somewhere. On that note, why did they add a black guy into the jungle? What did they mean by this? And why did they call him Nigerius Nigerton? What the fuck? To bring justice to this blatant bigotry, I consult a local blue-haired woman. 
She appreciates my kind gesture of trying to ruin lives over a joke and introduces me to the one child she didn't abort. And I wish she did. A huge man I adore approaches. He has consistent morals and foundations and isn't afraid of the pushback for making his voice heard. And can you say that about yourself? The game wants me to kill him, but I refuse and flee to a different planet. Nigger! Unfortunately, the planet I land on harbors this creature. You see, the joke is she's English and they talk funny. It's layered, she breathes and she breathes the air of the superior race. However, she's fucking annoying and I suspect Australian, which are to the English what mosquitoes are to dolphins. The next boss is a spear. I don't know, I've, I've given up. Because clearly the devs have. I feel like a torture victim. Comedy is subjective, but this comedy is objectively fucking awful. In search for an out to this video, I go to a vault I think they're meant to be important, but the game, A, never said that, or B, I didn't listen because the writing is fucking cancer. The boss is a store-bought asset, I played Final Fantasy XV, I know what this is, and it stays immune to damage for 70% of the fight. And if you do not believe me, here he is, he's immune, he's not taking damage, can't do anything, just... Just sitting here, sitting around, there he is, he's, he's immune. Just sitting there. How's your day been? Mine's been pretty shit. Mike barely functions. My country's having a race war. Pretty bad out here. Probably going better for you unless you're in like some fucking African shithole. Kino. Oh, there you go, now you can hit him. He does this twice. Great design. I love not being able to play the game. Wait a minute. I do! Oh, it died. After accessing the Omega Vault, built up across the series of definitely just this one game, I get a bunch of common guns. I found a legendary gun in a toilet. But Omega Vault has the Shinzo Abe removal tool. Just to guarantee a legendary, it will be useless in three levels. Are you on crack? Magic squirt porn fried your brain? Leaving in disappointment, I encounter a disappointment, and that disappointment encounters a disappointment, and their disappointment sidekick. Lot of disappointment in this definitely not disappointing release I waited 7 years for, which is the only one in the series I just had insider knowledge from being a magician. Luckily for my magician kind, that bitch a magician, so we are represented, and she makes the blue lady disappear. But I've spoiled myself on this because she's in the movie, so she'll come back. I knew Maya when she was alive. It has come to my attention that she is dead, and the movie is in some pocket timeline, as she is very much not dead. So I have wasted my time and been banned on Club Penguin for grooming. Luckily, Steam doesn't care about paedophiles and has refunds, and I have used the recuperated funds to purchase a plethora of tickets. So it's time to go emo hunting. Your brain is a bleeding and your legs can't seem to stand. 